Hello. Uh, we are going to demonstrate uh, loading and deploying and invoking a smart contract in NeoPython. So let's get started. I have this contract AVM file that I compiled on another machine. Um, just going to copy that into my deploy or into my NeoPython uh, project root. Uh, if you look at that, it's binary. Um, but it's, if you uh, unhexified it, it would. Oh, if you hexified that, it would look something like this. So these AVMs are just a uh, byte, a string of bytes, basically. <coughs> so here we go. Uh, open up the Py the NeoPython shell. Um, and first thing we'll need to do is open a wallet before we can do anything. Uh, and I think uh, all right. So you can always list anything in your wallet with um, the wallet command. If you want, you can do uh, a verbose version of that, and it'll show you all your coins and all the transactions. But that's outside the scope of this. So let's import a contract. Uh, let's see. Contracts, AVM, calculator four dot AVM, uh, and with this syntax uh, similar to the GUI, you need to uh, specify your uh, the parameter types, um, which for this one is a string. O seven. A byte array 05 and another byte array 05, and then the return type is a byte array 05. And then we will tell it that it needs storage true. So once you've done that, it will ask you to give it a name. Uh, 0.1. Human email dot com demo of so first thing it does is uh, runs this through a test. Uh, VM just to make sure everything runs okay and it shows the results um, and in this result uh, the result is a new created contract state and then it tells you how much gas it's going to cost to invoke luckily we're on testnet so I am rich with gas um, so now that this contract has been successfully loaded and and all that, um, I can invoke it or deploy it to the blockchain by just typing invoke, and there it is. So uh, this will take a little bit of time to make its way up to some other nodes, and then its way back down. Uh, so in the meantime, I'll show some things related to invoking contracts. Uh, first thing we need to do is have a contract to invoke. Uh, search. I'm just going to search for... Uh, so this will give me... Uh, any contracts on the chain that contain the string local. Um, oh, 
Looks like the contract we deployed is there. Well, let's use that then. Um, So the contract we deployed is the hash is right there. Let's just make sure that it uh, has successfully made it into our local blockchain. What? Let's search for this string. Uh, Oh, there we are. So this is the hash. And now you can see it is uh, on the blockchain. You can also look up a contract directly by its hash. There we are again. And now let's do an invoke. So to invoke, Similar to the contract, you have to run it uh, test first. Um, mostly to check to see that your invoke is not insane. And also to show that, uh, well, to calculate the gas that's going to be needed for that contract. So that's similar to how that happens in NeoGUI. Um, so let us invoke this. We'll say test invoke. Then the contract hash. Uh, the first argument is a string. We'll tell it to add. And then uh, let's have it add uh, 18 and 24. All right. So here's the test invoke results. Um, it gives you the method signature. Uh, so it's looking for a string, a byte array, and a byte array. Um, it'll show any runtime notifies or runtime logs in the test invoke. Um, if it's successful, it'll show you the result and the amount of gas it'll take. So one thing to note about NeoPython is that when sending these parameters, the byte array, uh, it does its best to try and figure out um, what these values are from what you input. Um, so you could send it a byte array, a literal byte array, and it of any value, and it would figure it out and invoke it properly. Uh, but that's outside the scope of this demo. Let's invoke this contract. Well, let's let's say you uh, want to do a test invoke, and it turns out it's going to ca uh, cost like eight billion gas. You can just simply cancel that. And now, if you tried to run invoke, it will not do anything. Um, let's just do this again. Let's add. Let's multiply. 32 times 17. And let's invoke that. Um, now we wait for it to get sent up to the blockchain and then come back down and run in our um, virtual machine. Do, do, do. Um... If you want help with some of this, you can type help. Uh, it might not. It should give you everything you need, but if not, feel free to ask questions. Um, oh, see. And there it is. It uh, executed here. With that, that is the... Um, end of the demo for deploying a contract in NeoPython. Goodbye.